Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss uh, invisible wire glitch, although it's not really that invisible. Uh, it's only invisible when you're actually doing the glitch and then it doesn't become invisible. But I have found a truly invisible wire glitch and that's what I'm going to bring you today. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk about both glitches just because when I made my last video my audio broke up and I apologize for any audio in this video. But I, I'm going to talk about that that glitch and how to do it um, and then we'll move into the completely wireless glitch which I think is the most incredible find in Fallout so if you've been playing for years and years like I have then um, you'll, you'll definitely find this video useful plus if you don't like wires I'm not too opposed to wires uh, myself but if you don't like wires then certainly this video is for you so so just to quickly show you I have a bunch of turrets on the top and it they are completely wireless um, I had them connected down to this conduit yeah I had a, this really ugly wire kind of going up this way it didn't look nice at all and you know I was trying to figure out a way to try and either hide it or get rid of it right so um, depending where you put that conduit so if you put the conduit right next to to here yeah, then obviously you can mostly hide it but I found when I was trying to do maintenance and add some additional lights on these towers I had to get rid of it anyway so I ended up moving the conduit to, to the end because it wouldn't let me move these sort of pylons without um, getting rid of that that uh, conduit first of all and of course once the wire goes through an object you can't move it anyway so you have to get rid of it right so so those two those two towers are completely wireless at the moment as you can see the turrets are running but I'm not going to show you that at the moment just because I don't want to build ladders and I would have to pull it apart but I'm going to show you a relatively easy um, and relatively an easy uh, way to test this method now it's a little tricky to do but once you get the hang of it it's actually super easy right so let's start of all let's start first of all let's build um, some lights because I want to actually show you how this thing actually works um, again let, let's start with the completely wireless glitch just because I think that's what I want to actually show people today so let's see if we can find a spot that doesn't have uh, any power like this one yeah so I've just placed a couple of lights here and there's absolutely no uh, it's not lighting up so you got two two um, two lights there that need power okay so this would be a perfect example where if without the the wireless glitch um, I would have to either do the wire the, the wire glitch which you could run power and and either either run it from beneath me or and I, I'll try and show you what I've done beneath me as well I've complete I've, I've created a complete power grid uh, in anticipation when before I built these buildings so I could just bring up the power upstairs but now that I've discovered this this wireless glitch I don't even need to do that um, but I that, that, that that's a pretty cool concept as well and I recommend and I've done that for my uh, aspect island a while back um, same same idea but let's let's get on with this one. So I want to bring power. Yeah, I don't want to have to run these wires. I don't want to run conduits. Uh, you know, like every 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 board. Yeah, um, you know, you can do that. I mean, if you like wires. I mean, sometimes the wires brings character to uh, your settlement. Um, uh, Paul kind of calls them raider settlements if you have wires, which I don't think the right way because I think wires actually. I watch some people settlements and they have wires and they look actually you know part of the settlement and they look pretty cool uh, even though they're kind of ugly in a way but I mean it kind of just gives the character settlement right now unfortunately Paul doesn't do a good job of explaining the wire glitch I mean he's got some really good videos and I, I totally check out his videos and his channel if you're not familiar with Paul in this cool zone he does a, a no modded series um, um, of, of things but unfortunately he just doesn't have the knack of really explaining some things well and and what the wire glitch is one of them unfortunately so 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 I have this conduit which is completely wireless at the moment so you do need a place to start um, and whether that is a wired um, actually let, let's do this so let, let, let's I was gonna start up there because it's, it's easier but let, let me try and show you something that kind of makes a little bit more sense uh, so I have a couple of generators buried in the wall here um, and then I have this conduit I just have this conduit wired to the generator so you can see it's fully wired and th there's no trickery or anything going on there it's just wired it's it's got the going through the wall not a big deal uh, let me just move this guy out the way here quick so in order to do the the wireless glitch 
you need you need basically three conduits. Um, now, now, just 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 this this wireless glitch can work with anything. Um, as, uh, most things. I mean, I don't think everything in the game, and you probably don't want to use everything, so it's not going to work with stuff like the logic gates, for instance. Um, I have these logic gates that automatically close the door if uh, one of my guys rings the siren. Now, the logic gates obviously need certain wires, and you don't want those. You, you probably could make them invisible, I suppose, but, but you kind of want to know how that's actually wired up, otherwise it could get really confusing. But there's probably a few things that don't need the wire uh, that 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 need to have wires, right, and give it some sort of character and, and, and necessity. So, like the logic gate would be one of them. But other things, like if you want to run a conduit or you don't want to run wires to your turrets, uh, if you donn't want to have these wires to this, this pylon or you didn't even want to have the pylon, you don't need to. So, other than character, right? But let me let me show you a practical example, and that is conduits, right? So, conduits is something that everybody uses. Um, so if we take, and, and let me use the bigger ones, it's going to be a little bit easier with the bigger ones, but but I do use the smaller ones all over, because uh, they're just smaller and neater and you can't see them. Uh, but in this example, let's do it, because you do need an angle on on this, right? So I have, I have my main source of power here, which is that conduit there. I need a second one, which I will be wiring, and then I need a third one, which is going to be the actual wireless conduit that I'll need. Now, normally what I do is I place it, I, I place it above, I, I, I kind of place it in an angle, and I'll, I'll, I'll do this again upstairs because it's a little bit easier to see, but I place it just above the other one because you actually have to, to do the glitch, you have to actually pass the wire, you have to actually point to that conduit once you've done it, right? So um, normally I kind of put it in kind of like a semi-triangle -tri type, uh, trap uh, thing on the wall, right? Now, it can either be as long as you, as long as the, the device you're trying to make wireless is below you, as long as you can pass a point, your point, I guess, through the wire, uh, then you can do it beneath you or you have to have it above you. That, that's kind of the trick there, right? But let me see if I can do this quickly for you. So, what I'm first, first of all, I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this device, right? Okay. So I'm going to pass the wire there. Now this this does use the wire glitch, and again, that's the reason I will I will show you that in a second. But in order to do the wire glitch, um, which is kind of what we call or what Paul calls the true wire glitch, is you 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 take your pointer and you point it to on the wire. So the idea is you kind of pointing it just below the wire, but to the device, and you're going to hear a spark. Um, and that will actually have uh, that will actually create an invisible wire while you're doing the glitch. Now you can you can see, or you might have yeah, you can see kind of little, some sparks there flying there in the area. So I'm, I've actually done the wire glitch, and I'm going to actually connect that device. But now the trick is, you need to point you need to point your pointer on the wire that you have connected to that second device but with the, the wireless device in the background. So you kind of want to point it at the point where, I don't know if you can actually see, the dot's a little bit small to, to actually see, but uh, you can kind of see it there, just kind of moving around there. But I'm going to point it at the wire, but with the device in the background. And I'm going to hit the, I'm going to hit the uh, connect wire button on the, on the Xbox, it's Y. On a, on a PlayStation 4, it's probably going to be the triangle button. Um, so I'm going to hit the wire, so I'm just kind of pointed there. The first thing you notice is it now has a wire connected to that device. And that's good. That means it actually worked. But in order to, to finish the glitch, what you have to do is now select the second device, or I'm going to call that device the, the, the power source, the first device, the, the second one that we're using to do the glitch, the second one, and then the third one's going to be the actual wireless device. Now, you have to actually, the, the, once you've connected that wire, which is a good thing, is we are going to select this device, and you'll notice straight away the wire will move. So as you can see, I selected that device, the wire moved down to the second one, and then the last step we have to complete is to actually 
uh, remove this device so it's important that this will only work if you get rid of that final device so you can't keep it there to co keep on doing the glitch you have to actually restore it so I'm going to hit B in this case I'm going to select it I'm going to hit B to store it I can actually select it there it says do you want to put it back in the workshop yes I do now this device that's left over is now completely wireless and let me show you that is actually true and then I'll redo the, the I know that's really kind of confusing the way I explained that uh, even when Paul kind of explained it it's, it's really confusing it doesn't really make a lot of sense but I'm going to redo this for you and just kind of show you let me actually show you these lights will now power up Now this is completely wireless, so you could actually use this to go and wire further devices. So if we put it, put it over here, we'll just hide it here. Uh, you can actually now power, if, if you wanted to put like a, let, let's just say a terminal on the ground here and run a wire from this guy, you can completely do that and you can just connect a terminal and it'll wire just like a regular conduit would. But short of that, you don't actually have to wire anything. You can actually just create say 10 of these powered self-powered conduits and it will power um, anyway so let me let me show you we have actually placed some stuff so I have a conduit on this this fountain just no wires completely just a conduit on itself as you can see I'm using the small ones it's powering all these lights around this fountain this switch itself is self-powered so you can like I said you can actually do it with switches which is kind of cool uh, you can do it with anything that you can really probably point a wire to it. So depending on how much work it is. I mean, if uh, you know you don't, you can't get an angle on something. It's going to be a little tricky to do. But I think most devices will. Um, I have conduits all over this warehouse. Yes, yeah, so I have a conduit up there. All wireless, completely wireless, no wireless. So if you really hate wires, this is definitely the glitch for you. So let, let me redo that for you. Let me redo that um, in a little bit cleaner, cleaner way. So let's actually get rid of this guy. And I'll, I'll do one of the smaller ones as well. Okay, so powered off, no lights here, no power. And again, I have, I'll show you, I'll show you I have them all the way. I have a whole bunch of rooms up here and they're all completely wireless. So this is kind of what, uh, this is one of the buildings I'm still working on and I need to power it up. So I created this wireless conduit up here and that's obviously powering the lights in the front of the building. But as you can see, I don't have too much power inside. But let's say I wanted to create another device. So this we go, we choose conduit. Uh, you're going to need, uh, again, conduit is probably the most useful, I think, at least for now. Um, so you're going to create two conduits, you can create one there. Like I said, I create this sort of triangle pattern. I just, it's a little bit easier for me to angle, right? It doesn't have to be exact triangle or anything. It can be whatever whatever works for you. Like I said, it can be on the ground as well. Okay, so I want to create, I want to create the, wireless, uh, the wireless glitch. So I select the second conduit. Great, I think my game's just crashed. <laughs> Let's just get back into it. So l l let me talk about the actual wireless glitch as well, because I think that's important. I think uh, first you have what we call the true wire glitch, which is just you're able to, to glitch wires through walls, and that's kind of what I've been using up to now. Um, which is very very useful when I first heard about it I thought it was kind of lame I mean you kind of want wires around your settlements to make it look a little authentic uh, but if you're building big settlements uh, you don't want to have to spend and waste time on, on moving wires to all parts of your settlement it's just, it's just, a, it's just a chronic waste of time right uh, you should by default be able to wire through walls I mean people I mean since they invented invented electricity back whenever in the 1800s i'm sure they've been wiring through walls so, i mean fallout should allow you to wire through walls by default right um, uh, so 
I mean, whether you draw holes or whatever, I mean. So let me just get back into it and I will do that again for you. So my game probably didn't crash because I was doing the glitch, my game crashed because I'm building massive settlements. The bigger your settlements, the more you go over the limit, the more likely you're going to crash. So just kind of keep that in mind. Save often if you do survival like I do, you need to save uh, as often as possible. Okay, let me see if I can just clear up the sky here quick. Make it a little brighter. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay, we're going to create two conduits, grab them. And I'll, I'll, sh I'll give you a practical example of the switch as well, if that's uh, just to kind of show you how that works, just something different. Okay, so I'm just going to create this over here, I'm going to create a second one so I can actually see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to just connect it normally. So I create one wire to the conduit, uh, you can see there's a wire, no big deal. We're then going to do the true wire glitch. Now like I said, the true wire, what we refer to as a true wire glitch is you point to that device. Um, so the easiest way to do that glitch is you point to the wire but with that conduit in the background. That's the easiest way to actually do the glitch. Now, I have done it where I've kind of come here and I've kind of, um, I, I read this Reddit uh, thread where it says you just need to point to kind of the edge of the wire. So you can, as you can see, I'm probably like, you know, a couple centimeters from the top of the wire. If I go closer to the conduit, the wire is going to disappear, right? And that doesn't work. So you want to have the wire visible. And then if you hit Y, then you can actually do the wire glitch. Now that works as well, but the easiest way to do the wire glitch is if you have the conduit in the background, you point to the wire and then it will be effectively work the first time. So the, the so we're going to the first thing we did was we we put three two conduits down, we we created a regular connection to the conduit, we then performed what we call the true wire glitch, which is just that invisible glitch, and then we are gonna point to that third device which you want to make wireless but the most important thing it, it has to be in the background so uh, just make sure you're pointing through the wire so find that 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 wire that we created for this guy if we can this couch is in the way unfortunately uh, let's see if I can actually point it so uh, you can see the wire I'm going to be pointing to that wire with the device in the background so it's kind of it's kind of like uh, you do you do the, the true wire glitch and then we're doing another wire glitch similar way but we point in it to that third device so it's, it's it's what Paul calls the double wire glitch so the wire should point it should be attached now it didn't work there so let's try that again or we might just have to do that wire glitch again okay so actually that that is not the right thing to do so let's actually start again yeah I think they just made a regular connection. Okay, so we are going to, oh, I don't know where that's going, oh, that's going over there. I'm not sure why that wire suddenly appeared. Let's get rid of that guy. 
Now that's another thing, just uh, whether this will work after I remove this, why I'm not sure, but uh, this, yeah, it's still working. So this, this, this light, which actually it's not. So you know what, I can actually show you, that'll be a good example as well, once we're done with this one. Okay, so, so make a regular connection. Okay, we're then going to perform the wire gitch. Point to that in the background. Well, that that kind of worked, but it didn't. You just have to get the angle. You just have to get the angle right. So it's important to kind of have the one kind of lower. So it is connected with the regular wire. Then in the background, you point to the wire, but with with the device in the background. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Kind of focus on the wire. Have the wire highlighted if you can. It's a little tricky depending on your angle. I don't think that's working. Everything's highlighted. There we go. Okay. So you can see I'm connected. No wires. Um, then the third step is we want to point to that device in the background. And it should connect that device. Okay, so as you can see, that worked because you can now see the wire move from the second device to that that third device. Okay, okay, you then the, you then want to select that device, uh, that second device, and the wire should flip back. There you go, and then we want to remove that device. So select it and remove. Okay, you now then you now have a wireless device. So before we grab that device, let's go put our lights back here. Just so I can show you that working, that's working. Okay, let's put a couple lights here. Okay, there's no power. See, there's no power. Let's go grab that device. Now, it's important to store that second device. You must store it. It won't work if you do not store that device. Okay, so that second conduit must be put back in into your workshop. Okay, there you go. You can see the lights are coming on. If I walk away, the lights will go off. Very nice. So you can you can basically have your entire settlement wireless if you want it. Now, you just set up a little area uh, that you can actually do it. Um, uh, very quickly like you know it doesn't have a lot of things around it like chairs and stuff like like I have there so move that out the way and then you'll you'll find making these devices uh, wireless it becomes a lot easier the more you do it let me show you another example this this device which is really cool because these devices look really ugly with wires uh, these are the devices that change colors uh, actually this one now has no it's actually working but let me see if I can show you another example of this guy working um, Okay, let's just head upstairs and I think I have some areas up here which I can I can create. Okay, so I've got another, as you can see, this entire area has wireless devices, wireless conduits. Um, but let's say I wanted to let me let's say I wanted to uh, put a colored light here somewhere. Uh, let's see what we can. Doesn't really matter at this point, but I'm not sure I'm at the, at a good angle to do this, but let, let's let's try anyway. Okay, so let's go to... Now the only trick is you have to be in a position where you can actually point to it, right? Uh, that's kind of the downside, but... Okay, so let's grab one of these guys. Uh, center. Let's see if we can angle it somewhere. Okay, so these guys, they need wires. And if you've used these... Uh, these lights that cycle you know you have to connect them with wires and they look they look ugly right so okay so we're gonna put we'll try hang it up here okay so it currently doesn't have hopefully I can actually extract it again okay there okay it looks like it's there I'm not sure uh, let me see if I can move it a little bit further yeah that should be okay I think Okay. Now the second device, the second thing to 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 uh, your your second device or your second conduit that you use to create the glitch doesn't have to be the small one. So use the bigger one because you might find 
you might find that it's easier to 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 aim at right because um, you're going to store that anyway so it doesn't really matter okay so the first step is create a regular connection that's what we've done we're going to perform the second uh the wire glitch which is just pointing to that device let me actually just move this guy a little bit down so i can actually see it a little bit better so just get the right angle so as you can see just points the wire with the device in the background we now create that wireless connection we are going to then point through the wire to that device okay there you see it's lit, lit up you can now see it's actually wired um, there you're going to select that second device and the wire should flip there you go we are going to then remove that device completely okay you now as you can see that's still lit up and and you can move this guy wherever right it doesn't have to be close by to where you created it we can go right across the central settlements and we can we can place it wherever you uh you want so i mean that that's a cool thing you could just have one area that you're creating these wireless devices and then you can just you know go anywhere in your settlement and as long as you can place it you can place it anywhere you you want right um very cool very cool very useful that's invaluable that that is absolutely invaluable and if we come here we can actually just cycle power cycle the color rather and change the lights no power no ugly wires showing exposed people are just going to absolutely be static about that i mean there you go how cool is that So let me give you one final, well, l l let me show you just in case the, the true wire glitch isn't, isn't uh, clear to anyone. Uh, l l let me try and, let me try and do an another, another example of that one, because that's kind of, you have to do the true wire glitch and then uh, that allows you to bring wires through walls and, and crazy stuff like that. Uh, and, and there are going to be circumstances where you still going to want to do that for whatever reason. Um, but that, that's just how it is, right? So, so again, Paul does have some videos on this. He talks about different wire glitches, different strategies, putting putting conduits on signs, putting conduits on other on, on other items. You can do all that crazy stuff. I, I don't really do that, uh, but you can actually do that, right? So, so like I said, in order to execute the the, the wireless glitch, and let's, let's maybe use this conduit here since it's available. Um, so let's say I wanted to to bring a wire. Let's say you know prior to knowing about the wireless glitch is you wanted to wire a terminal, um, and let's let's create a terminal here quick. Okay, we create a terminal and let's put it in a, in a spot where we know it's not going to actually be able to connect right so oh and i want to connect it to to this guy outside and i need it to go through the wall and you know i don't want to have to wire all around so so if we try connect it to this guy as you can see you know it's hitting that collision zone right it's, it's got a red line we can't connect it and i really i really wanted to i really want to be able to connect it without having to now try now you could obviously in this case because i'm using the warehouse part you could just wire it through the window you just move it around so normally what i would typically do is i'd move it so closer down here near the window in this case we can but you may use, be using cement walls or or a wall that you know you you, you um can't necessarily point it through the window and i certainly have brought stuff through windows and stuff and that's to, that, that's traditionally how I, I have built settlements up to, to up to now right but but i don't want to do that so in order to to do that you can now execute the true wire glitch and in order to do that so we create a second conduit so similar to that that other wire glitch is we create another so you do need a wire you do need a wire to in order to execute uh that that glitch right um Okay, so that's kind of your your main requirement so let's say you have and this can be due from any conduit anywhere as long as there's a wire so again point to that device in the background hit y on the next box or triangle i'm um, now you you should hear kind of like a spark or sound in the background uh you're not going to hear it on this video but 
uh, I, I run to the device I want to power and it's this guy and I click Y to select. Now that device is now fully powered. The, the, the wire is going through the wall which it didn't let us do earlier and now you have a device powered and you can you can you can um, you can wire through any wall through floors through ceilings you name it now the only, the only downside of this is um, you can't really move the device once once you powered it right so uh, once it's powered, put the device where you, you want it. If you need to move it, you're going to just have to re-execute the wire glitch. Now, it does let me move it over here only because it's now actually taking that device through that, that hole in the wall, right? But other than that, you can't actually move move the device at all. So that's really the true wire glitch. You can wire through any wall, through floors, through, through concrete. Uh, let me show you some examples of what I've done. Uh, again, typical to to what what I've previously done. So I have this uh, I have this um, my lighthouse here is is powered. Now I didn't want I didn't want the the problem with uh, I'm using those security lights, and the security lights if you've used them in the past do just randomly turn off, right? Uh, and you just have to switch them off and on, or, or or select them and place them back on the wall, and they they continue working. But I don't want to have to. Obviously, there's there's no steps up to my lighthouse, and I have I have those uh, lights up there, um, and I don't want to have to run all the way. So I could have a generator at the bottom. So that's one way to do it, um, and then I could run all the way to the bottom and power. But I decided to put the generator right at the front of my settlement. So if I'm at the front, I can just wire. So so I'm using the wire glitch, and I have a wire going from the top of my lighthouse down to a conduit that's at the bottom of this wall here. I then have a, a, I did the wire glitch again, the true wire glitch, and I wired this guy. So you can see it's going through the wall over there, um, inside, inside this tower at the bottom and all the way to the top. And then I have these conduits. Now, you don't have to run these conduits, but that's just your typical way of running conduits. But then as you can see, this, this guy is actually going through the sand here. And I have, uh, it, I think it comes up there, and then I have another wire. As you can see, it looks it looks okay. It's kind of hidden, but these wires are pretty ugly, so you don't necessarily have to do that anymore, right? So, and then I have a wire that's actually going from from this location all the way through the walls, uh, all the way through the walls. I've only have one connection there, all the way through here to right the end, and I have a conduit at the side yeah so that's where it actually comes out uh, so that's doing the true wire glitch um, and then from there I actually have it going into my generator so when when I want to actually switch my lights off let me see if I can actually see the lights I, I can't really see them from yeah but let, let me show you that in a sec I have that from the conduit I have this generator yeah which is specifically for my lighter. So I can actually turn, if, if my lights do go off, I can actually just come here and I can deactivate them. Let me, let me show you that quickly. Let me just prove to you that the lights are actually working. I'll show you a nice view from the top of my settlement here. Not sure why it's so I'm not really carrying anything, so I don't know why it thinks I am. At least I don't think I am. Let me just do a quick save here because I think it will get rid of that. And it's night time as well, so it's kind of a perfect time to actually look at the, the night the, the lighthouse. Okay, so as you can see, those are the security lights. They turn in just kind of like a typical lighthouse would. Um, but sometimes those lights go off, um, and you don't want to have to repower them. So let's go. Let's go and uh, switch that. that.
just for you, for you guys that are curious why I can jump from that distance, I am using some free four legs. You can get these legendary, you probably can't really see them, but you can get these legendary free four legs. It's, it's kind of tricky to get, um, but they're in the mass fusion, at the top of the mass fusion build, well worth it if you're building high settlements like this. I've fallen so many times, and if you don't want to get, uh, build your settlement power armor, uh, try get those free four legs. I do have a video on it uh, and some links to other people's videos who did it. So we're going to switch this this, uh, this generator off, which is my lighthouse generator, and I'm going to show you quickly that uh, you know the wire that's running all the way along through these walls, just a single wire from one end to the other, uh, will actually turn those those lights off. Very useful. You don't have to. We don't have to run like you know gazillion uh, power conduits all the way typically you'd run them all the way from the one side all the way to the top if I wanted to do something similar right so okay let's go to the top here and there you can see that the, the lighthouse is completely off and all because the wire goes all the way from there right to the front of the settlement so so finally I will show you I'll show you a quick thing that I did which I think is kind of cool uh, if you are building like these big flat settlements and you somehow have a area underneath your settlement or you have a room that's uh, you know needs needs some lighting anyway but it's it's a, it's a big it's a big room uh, what I do is I create what I call a power grid underneath that room um, let me see if I can get rid of this uh, let me just go to sleep here quickly I'm either carrying something or I'm just it's just glitching out. So I create this big uh, power grid underneath the the um, underneath the floor, uh, like Spectacle Island. If you're building above Spectacle Island, I did it there. So I, I started creating a small city, and it's really just planning properly and, and creating that power grid uh, with conduits. I use these those poles, and I just connect each section with a light. It looks really pretty cool. Um, but it allows you then to take power from wherever, um, you know, depending what you're doing. Maybe you like the look of it. Uh, I think the whole wireless, the wireless glitch just changes everything, to be honest. But, I mean, I'd still do it because I, th I think it looks really cool just uh, for, cert for certain things. And I'll show you, I'll show you the example that I used. my my little market so I have a little marketplace um, okay so you can see on my roof yeah um, I have conduits uh, so each section I connect with a light so I think that looks really cool to begin with especially if you're building under like spectacle island let's say you didn't have all the stuff underneath you just had you just had uh, you know sand or, or whatever it's just a dark area this basically tells you each section where each section is connected so instead of you know trying to figure out or point your pointer to you know find out where the connection is this tells me i can just look at the floor i know exactly where all the connections are in this case what i can do um i can break a connection in this case so as you can see i had a long pole there before what i did is i i needed power to power this, uh, this building here so i connected a a power socket there two poles replaced the long pole so typically i'd have a long pole uh, that's kind of how i originally built it with with the with the idea the whole idea here is you can break it up and and cut it up and then use it to do different things so like at this doorway as well i have i have this radiated power or this wireless power device connected to uh, one of these devices which connects to the, uh, this pole which i have connected to the floor which is now powering these lights on the floor uh, so you can actually carve it up and it's, it's running completely and there's an entire power grid underneath this entire floor. Now, when I first uh, did this, my idea was if I needed power above the floor, I'd just do the true wire glitch and pull up power wherever I need it. But obviously, I don't need to do that anymore. But anyway, so that's kind of another idea, um, you know, to create a power grid if you're creating a large city uh, with, with something above. Um, or, 
you know, even if you just do it for the looks, even if you weren't actually going to uh, use it for anything, uh, now that you've learnt about the the wireless glitch, it it does look nice in kind of like an environment like this. For instance, I have some vendors or merchants. I have some trader stations. These are the, the trader stations from the Bunker Hill missions. So if you do the Bunker Hill missions, you get you can get traders like the Doctor and Carla and 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 Cricket showing up at your. You pretty much have all the prime vendors right in your in your um, in your settlement, and they'll show up, and you can just go get Carla and speak to Carla and buy stuff, uh, which is kind of cool. And Cricket will show up. I have the Doctor, so when my my Doctor is is a wall. I will, can use this doctor to, to fix my diseases, which is kind of cool, right? So the doctor and Carla have been pretty consistently here, and then Cricket shows up and then leaves whenever, right? So, which is kind of cool. So there you go. I hope you found that useful, that it was kind of a long-winded video, but I, I thought it was important for people to try and understand and, and how useful this glitch is. It really changes how we can wire settlements. If you're building large settlements like this, you really don't want wires going all over your settlement. A, they look ugly. B, they just waste time. You have to wire everything up. Uh, now you can have wire going from any side of the settlement without a wire all the way across your settlement, completely wireless, uh, completely invisible, uh, making things look neater and cleaner and nicer, right? So there you go. If you have any comments, please let me know. If you still don't understand, let me know. Please comment, subscribe, and uh, like the video. I appreciate it.